So this Thanks. album was released one year ago by yourselves, and now it's re-released on a label. So it feels strange, right? After all the problems you had with Napalm Records. Yeah, well, you know, it's. Um, I think the widening of the territory is something that uh, we very decidedly didn't do in the beginning because um, we wanted to keep everything like under control for ourselves so uh, and and also try to like promote it as well as we could so we focused focused on the benelux and we're very happy that now we have the chance to further put it out there you know because we're aware that as an independent band it's hard to you know like reach all the corners of the world so we're very happy to have graviton back us out for uh, for europe now and uh it's it's been different of course you know uh having so much extra work to do on our own but it's also very rewarding because we get to make um, a lot of the decisions as to how we want to put it out there and how we want to present ourselves, um, which is great. Great. So uh, in that time, you raised 44,000 euros in the crowdfunding for the album, which is a huge amount. So I suppose that, that made you feel real loved by your fans, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, I mean there's always some kind of nervousness and, and, and uh, uh, excitement when you start something like that, you know, you're, I mean, even though we had very good expectations, there's always a question like, oh, what if, you know, you don't make yeah. it. And the fact that I think it wasn't even, we weren't even two weeks in, uh, in the campaign and uh, we had already reached our original goal, uh, which was 25,000. And, it just kept going and going and we had such a great we got such great feedback from the uh, from our fans that they were really excited about being part of this and that it was just it was so heartwarming you know and the cool thing is that eventually it wasn't just about the money but the fact that that we had this sense of community that was that's incredible and now we now we meet the people on the shows that we have and they're wearing their t-shirts you know the ones that you could only get yeah through the campaign and then you know like yeah you know you're among uh, amongst people that uh, that really care about the band that's and that's so nice so uh moving from mexico to holland uh, must be a huge step in your life so i think uh, personally that uh, the place where you live uh, in some sort of way influenced you in your music so do you think it changed you as a vocalist uh, moving from mexico to holland uh yeah i think so i mean songwriting uh my songwriting really changed when i when i moved here i'm, I'm very sure about that yeah. um it uh it's just you know the the uh the weather <laughs> and <laughs> uh and the the people the atmosphere everything it's it's so different and that 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 has a lot of influence on your on your mood and I think also eventually your personality so um yeah I think it definitely changed but um and I had a period where it uh where I really clashed with this whole like overwhelming amount of change yeah. which is something that I think I was going through on our previous album Darker Days yeah uh, um but I think I, right now I've, I've, I've really found my place here and uh made my peace with the winters and stuff <laughs> and uh, so i uh yeah i think now i i now see the change as something that has happened for uh for the better you know okay so you are doing this tour uh with the gentle storm with an AK and of course arjun who started all the stream of fashion thing so what do you think of uh, the gentle storm the arjun new project i'm sure you like because you're touring with them of course but uh what do you think is the most interesting thing about the the gentle storm? I love it. I think it, I I love it that it's like the perfect uh, combination of of Anuke and uh, and Aryan, You know, yeah. I'm a big fan of both, uh, and I've always been. I mean, like from years and years back. So even when they I hadn't heard anything, and when they announced that they were doing an album together, I was like, you know, can I? pre-ordered in advance like, I want to have it I know it's going to be awesome 
and you know for sure when the songs came out and uh, um, of course I got to hear everything very early in the process because Johan was also uh, Johan our bass player he was also um, he yeah. also recorded in the in the album so um, and as the songs got together I started to get more and more excited and the, the story is just so beautiful and uh and sad, but very beautiful, you know, uh, the the lyrics and the whole concept behind it. It's just, uh, it's very cool. So I'm really happy to be part of the live shows. Great. So as uh, so you two are uh, touring together, uh, would you say that you will have a, a duet, maybe with a, an egg uh, in some songs or something like that? Yeah, I do. And it's, it's very nice, you know, because there are indeed some spots where we uh, do a lot of... Uh, of parts together and uh, uh, some parts where I get to step up, you know, so it's, it's really cool. I mean, I, I would have never thought that I would have the chance to, to do this, you know, and be able to sing with one of the people that were such a huge inspiration for me. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like secretly always like jiggling with excitement when I'm on stage, you know, like, Ooh, I'm <laughs> I'm singing with Annika for a respect. So I try to keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So returning to the album or one of our own, uh, is it obvious that all the albums and songs from the string of fashion are made or constructed uh, around your voice? You know, it seems that you are the key factor of, of all the albums and all the songs. So do you feel like it is your band or you are just an essential part of something bigger? Well, um, you know, I, I do most of the initial writing. So even though we uh, finish up the songs with uh, with Johan, with Jos, our producer, and with the rest of the band, uh, most of the initial ideas come from me. And I'm pretty sure if I was a guitar player, then they would all be a lot more guitar player based. But, you know, if a singer <laughs> writes a song, then it's mostly about, well, you know, the main element is the is the melodies, you know, because um, that's always a starting point. So, um, but I, I, you know, I, I have, you know, I'm completely convinced that it's, it's still a band effort because what everyone brings in makes it so different. You know, what I, what I come up with, um, you know, of course it's, it's kind of, it has, it's the space, but it still needs, uh, everyone else's input and that's what makes it uh, stream of fashion okay so exile the song style has parts in spanish and the lyria is in spanish um have you ever thought of doing a alternative version of this album totally in spanish no <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, know, you know what it is uh, um when i'm writing the songs uh, it's a little bit silly really but i write the melodies first and maybe some piano or guitar chords and, and the basic structure and i'm singing gibberish yeah. while i'm while i'm making the demos and the gibberish it's all, you know there's always a very good hint about uh, over what the song is going to be about and if, whether it's going to be in English and Spanish, you know, the rhythm of the two languages is so different from my feeling that uh, I think it would feel terribly forced if I would have to do that, you know. Uh, I've, I've, I've had it once. Uh, and it was kind of like also it felt a little bit unnatural, but at the end of the line, I was very happy with the result. And that was with, uh, I had recorded this song for The Gathering called Pale Traces. Yeah. And the initial version of the song was in Spanish. And they asked me, like, okay, we would like to have an English version for the album. So I'm like, okay. And it was very difficult because uh, I had to, like, re, I don't know, for my feeling, recreate the whole idea with a different approach or something. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I just want to. I want to give the song the language that it's asking me to, to give it to it. You know, <laughs> and, and leave it at that. What is the best and the worst that happened to you since you are in the stream of passion? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very tough question. The the best and the worst. Um. Um, well, yeah, you know, the things that have happened the most, most recently are the, the, the things that are like a little bit more present in my mind. Uh, 
just being able to be part of this band i think it's 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 all it's all awesome you know yeah. but i'm i'm very proud of, uh, of of this last album that we released the moment that we had it in our hands that was like yeah you know <laughs> it's we did it you know it, it was everything was against us and that i can i can immediately relate to i think the worst uh, the worst thing that has happened for me in the band was that that period before you know yeah where we where we were where we left napalm and basically that we felt a little bit to be truly honest we felt a little bit abandoned you know like yeah we felt a little bit lost and we didn't we didn't think there at, at some point like you know like we i actually doubted like is there is there you know like driving us to keep going and i think it's such a shame that you get that because of a label you know and yeah. when we started doing this crowdfunding and everything just like came in together i was like why don't we you know what we were worrying about um <laughs> so a lot of contrast in this past uh, period yes but um i think i think those would be the most extreme moments <laughs> cool well just one last question uh, are you planning to come to spain I hope so. I hope so. Um, we are looking into uh, two possibilities for later in the year, and I'm crossing my fingers that we get the chance to go back to Spain because I love it and I get to speak Spanish and uh, <laughs> and the people are so so great. I, I really hope so. And the weather. And the weather. Yes. <laughs> if we make it a little bit early in the year, then uh, no. But it's brilliant. I I love Madrid and I love uh, Barcelona, which are the only two cities that I've been to. Yeah. But it's it's so it's so amazing and the food is great. I love it.